Let's take a look at the brand new Xbox app in Windows 10. In Windows 8 and 8.1, Microsoft introduced the Smart Glass app. Smart Glass was meant to be used to be able to control your Xbox 360 or Xbox One console from your tablet or smartphone. The Xbox app does replace this functionality and also offers quite a bit of new functionality. You can see the live tile here. It updates with your gamer tag and tells you if you have any notifications. On the app, you can now view your activity feed. So as you scroll through this, you'll see things that your friends have done recently, game clips, or uh, many other things are available there as well. This also shows on the left side the games that you've played recently. These are suggestions over here for people that you might want to be uh, friends with, might want to follow. So these are people that your friends are following, so these might be friends of friends. And then down here you have a list of your friends, those online and those that are not online. You can also see players that uh, you follow and also recent players here. So if there's somebody that you want to add, you can actually do that right from this app. Right now available in beta form, you can actually start a party from within this app and you don't even need to be connected to your Xbox console, your Xbox One console in order for this function to be available. So you don't even need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. This does not rely on your console at all. There are servers uh, available in the cloud that will enable this functionality. So if I wanted to, I could start a party with any of these players right now. Obviously, I won't be able to play games with them because we don't have any games right now that are cross-platform between Windows 10 and the Xbox One, but that functionality will actually come sometime in the near future. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a game here just so that you can see what the Xbox app can do. So right now if I press the Windows key and the G key, I bring up the games bar. And what this enables me to do is to capture a game recording or a screenshot. So if I click here, this will capture the last 30 seconds. Or if I click here, I can start a recording. So that's some brand new functionality introduced to Windows 10 that integrates Xbox with the new operating system. From this area, you can see the games that are installed on your machine that you can play from your PC. From here, you can see messages that you've recently received and you can respond to those here. This area shows you recent activity um, on your activity feed. So if you've posted a game clip and somebody comments on it or likes it or shares it, you'll see that there. This section shows your recent achievements. Notice up at the top here, you can customize your avatar. You can also change this so you can appear offline. And then with the more, you can actually share or change your name sharing settings. This section shows your recently captured game clips, shared game clips, and community game clips. This button here just takes you to the Windows Store on your machine. And then this button here will take you to OneGuide. Most exciting piece of this app I can't demonstrate right now because I'm not on the network where my Xbox One is located, but if I was, I'd actually be able to go here and I would be able to take control of my Xbox right from my Windows 10 machine. So I could turn the console on, I'd also be able to stream games and play them directly on my Windows 10 device. Note that you do need to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your Xbox One for this function to work. And it's best to be on a wired connection uh, on at least one of those machines in order for that to function really well. That's it for the Xbox app. Thanks for watching.